what will be your piece of advice for someone who is just stepping into the market uh, of all the laund laundry list of mistakes that he should typically avoid? So the first thing I tell people, don't come into the markets. Right? So like, kya bol hai? Sala, I have come to you, you teach me. So I say, boss, it's not worth your time. You don't have capital. You don't have any skill sets. Why do you want to come into the markets? You end up spending four hours a day with zero return. Right? So I say, boss, focus on your core. Then keep giving small time to the markets. Start with small capitals which you can, small capital where you can, it has to be something which should hurt you, but it should not be something which should kill you. Correct. A blogger, educator and a research analyst, Nuresh has been into the market for the last 15 years. You have seen him on all the business channels and today we have with us Nuresh. So thank you Nuresh for coming down and agreeing to do this. It means a lot. It's a privilege to host you. Uh, First thing first, what brought you to stock markets? So thanks for calling me in a quick introduction. So it's a lucky uh, say coincidence or what you can say purely luck. You end up in the place where you wanted to be. So back in the day, I was in my second year of engineering. And all my time I was doing my engineering, doing time pass, playing sports, etc. So all my friends were from various other streams. So they were not uh, say in the same field. So the problem is when engineers have a vacation, everyone else does not have a vacation. So that's how I was totally free post second year engineering exams. So at that point of time, my mama was turning full time into the markets and he had been into the markets from the 1990s. So I'd heard about his journey as such. So okay. I went to him said, what is Sensex? What is Nifty? So I went, went for time pass and that became my career over a period of time. And that instance which uh, I keep telling people all the time that how did the curiosity come up in uh, uh, looking at technical. So Mama and his friend were discussing uh, Congress or BJP or market grega. And bang on 10 days later or a week later, we see a lower circuit on the markets. Black Monday 2004. BJP had this slogan called India is shining. I don't know many people remember. Today hmm. it is Achche Din Aayenge. Correct. Right? So, Every time there is a slogan and the markets fell. So it was very interesting to see that this could be analyzed. Right? Correct. So that's how the curiosity increased. And over the next uh, few months, I kept on learning from Mama and that is how I got into the markets. That, that's pretty interesting, Nuresh. Uh, I've, been, I've been following you for quite a while now. And uh, what I've understood is uh, you, you marry technical analysis with mega trends, finding out fundamental... Uh, companies which are doing well. So how do you how do you follow that strategy? What's it about, and how is that how is it evolved over the period of time? So now this is a new word which we call it techno funda. Somebody wants to co call it quant, etc. We all need to give new words Correct. to make it exciting. But the fact is, you can't do both. See, Absolutely. So I say technical bhi kiya, fundamental bhi kiya, aur kiya kuch nahi hai. <laughs> So basically, you're a mental. Correct. But the fact is, what we what I look at technicals and fundamentals is, I try to see what not to do from fundamentals. What companies to totally avoid. Correct. Right? And my learning started from the fact that I had this huge, uh, say, I have this knack or interest hobbies into scams. So I've always looked into governance issues, etc. So I came out with a tagline called Chor Bane More, which was 5-7 years back. Then it Correct. became an investment strategy. Correct. <laughs> and then people got killed in it by buying only Chor companies, not which were changing. And say, the mixture started this way. So I got into markets in 2004-05. Saw 2007. You could touch anything and it would go up. Correct. Right. And then 2008 happened. And the stocks fell 70%, the small gap index Correct. fell. So the companies where I made multi-baggers, some of them actually became delisted in the next two oh, months. Right. That's so, interesting. And some stocks have still not come back. So there was an education company. Correct. There was a tar company. Right. There was a company called Walchand Nagar Industries, which went up on the real estate story, etc. So in 2008, I realized, hey boss, this is bullshit. Correct. You just got lucky because you Correct. were playing momentum and you chickened out because you were a technical analyst. So on the way down, you just... Sold off. Exited, yeah. So you did not see the pain of seeing a big, big drawdown. And that is where I understood that fundamentals is something. And see, back in the day when you were reading reports, it used to be a lot of fluff in 2007. By end of it, people were making notes on anything and Correct. everything. Correct. So it's in 2008 when you realized what is fundamentals, how you can be so bad and you can be lucky also. Correct. 
post 2008 onwards i started meeting investors luckily i got into a google group now i'll talk about various uh, social mediums uh, in our talk so got into a google group called investment super growth there i met a lot of investors so we did our first physical meeting back in 2009 february and that is where i met kuku ji sunil shah vinod dori and then the next year all the guys like ayush mittal gorav so this were all part of that group and that is our neeraj marathe etc so that is where i met so kuku ji was a mentor vinod dori vg was a mentor etc so that is where i learned and imagine in 2009 when the markets have fallen 60% you have a meeting and this guys are still bullish on the market bullish on the market gango about the markets teaching you what is happening etc so that is where my learning started and over the last say from 2009 till date i have been meeting investors so learning about fundamentals in terms of how they do it so i so i saw them make 10 baggers and hold down to 10 baggers between 2009 to 10 correct so that's how i learned from various people and even till today i just randomly send a message to any investor and i meet him and i have been lucky enough that this is one stream where people meet you correct so one message and they end up paying for your coffee giving you 3 4 hours of time and teaching you everything they have learned over the years so yeah, that's, that's how i mix fundamentals from understanding so the strategy is very simple i don't do a lot of fundamental analysis apart from uh, say a few sing- say companies which i track personally that could be say maybe 5 10 companies max which i have a good idea of but rest of the time what i am doing is i am doing a copycat investing basically you have a lot of friends so you know okay this guy if he's come out with a note on It this stock his personal note or this law uh, he likes this company he's not looking out for 20% he's looking at 20% cagr for the next few years right. he's looking at a big move and if that breaks out you buy it correct so what you've done is you remove the risk part of it in terms of time Correct. because many of these companies will take their own time to actually get into a great phase absolutely so you've removed that time because you're buying it in momentum and you've cut down the risk of your not understanding the company well by having a stop loss because of your technicals so that is what i do so i don't so a lot of people say i do fundamentals also but you can't do most Correct. of the people don't do fundamental Correct. analysis so and you have to accept that that you don't do just because you've gone to screener and looked at a few screens you've looked at a basic number does not mean you've done fundamental correct, analysis correct and that i learned when i met this people so so i know uh, neeraj marathe reads 50 to 150 annual reports another big fund manager reads 200 to 500 balance sheets a year correct correct a lot of people at least read 3 to 5 annual reports of the invested company so the fact is most people don't do fundamental analysis they just want to say i do fundamental analysis So my view is very simple. I keep collating available information from friends. Just doing or, the first filter from yes. fundamental analysis and, and then going. The on second with. filter is because I look at chore companies. Yeah. I know what is the worst company. So when people tell me I can't find the good companies, but I can definitely tell you which are the worst ones. Worst ones. So I know where not to get killed. So right. And because then, I have this huge knack and I have been able to spot these companies much before, seeing yeah. them go up and then go to zero. So. that is the part which is actually the fact what not to do which companies not to touch not to track and then you have a list of companies to just, track just, because just, of so you have a list of uh, golden companies out of which you can yeah and you keep reading stuff yeah. all across so you can do basic screens but i don't go in depth in the fundamental so that is the way it is so if you do techno funda funda techno you have to accept it that 80 90% of your work is your core which is technicals correct and the rest is to create a just universe right area yeah. like for example i run a insider trading small case or insider trading right so it defines the universe the, the only stocks which have seen insider trading will come into it okay okay so that is what you married fundamentals by creating a universe where you want to participate this is very interesting uh, i keep on hearing uh, nuresh that conviction cannot be borrowed but uh, then i see guys like uh, monish pobrai guys peer uh, and i often quote that conviction cannot be borrowed but it can be replicated so while you talk about neeraj marathe and all uh, is that what you follow how, how do you borrow conviction or how do you replicate it so i tell it very simple way so neeraj is one friend of mine there are many others who would do a lot of stuff so what i say is you cannot borrow conviction but you can have faith right so you believe in god and you <laughs> okay accept it correct. mom tells you do this you do it Right? Correct, correct. So the fact is, if you want to, you cannot borrow conviction. 
बट यू हैव टू हैव एब्सोल्यूट ब्लाइंड फेथ टू रेप्लीकेट सॉलिड है वुडन डू सो आई नो अ लॉट ऑफ इन्वेस्टर्स या हु हैव जीरो नॉलेज राइट बट एब्सोल्यूट फेथ इन देयर मेंटर्स और फ्रेंड्स हु हैव बीन अराउंड फॉर अ लॉन्ग टाइम सो आई नो दिस इन्वेस्टर्स हु हैव बीन अराउंड फॉर 10 20 30 इयर्स वो भाई ने बोला हमने लिया <laughs> very simple but that's how people lose so you a lot of money faith, also right but the point is whom are you following right? correct correct right so if you're following someone who's been around for a long time and you've seen him hit it right hit it over the park all through the last correct, few decades correct, correct. right so blind faith is the way but that is difficult because then you you're like maine to kuch kiya nahi aur paisa ban gaya right we also want to have this uh, innate desire ke maine is pe kaam kiya tha etc so i say you have to have blind faith you cannot see boring conviction is impossible it is blind faith correct so at times we call us call this as a say a quota mm-hmm. right respect yeah. quota so this is a respect quota stock so, so there is a filter in terms of choosing your mentors also exactly so it is like how do you blindly the x guy has bought yeah. i have bought because x guy has bought whatever by view on it doesn't matter it is correct. respect quota and i should have access to him when he exits also right but so then you also public. you you also put a technical analysis to those filters right yeah so once times, you have you have huh. shortlisted those stocks which uh, other must have got then you do your own set of technical technical analysis yeah so this is what used to happen so i have a say say a limit of 10% on a single stock on my technicals my reasons and there is another 10% which can happen if i like it fundamentally or one of my best investors i know also likes it so that is purely respect 10% becomes 15% or 20% okay right so maybe you start off with a small allocation on respect quota and in momentum it becomes a technical part where you keep adding okay but the core position of respect quota will remain till the time that guy has not exited no, no. but that is the problem you have to accept that ki ye mera idea nahi hai correct right so problem is that people say borrowing conviction conviction to nahi aa sakta nahi aa sakta matlab no matter how much you try Haan. फेथ हो सकता है पूरा फेथ हो सकता है सो यू कीप फेथ एंड फॉलो एक्स वाय दैट इज भगवान बोल रहा है तो अच्छा ही होगा हां सो वो भगवान है सो लाइक दैट इज व्हाट सो हां एब्सोल्युटली सो आई नो दिस ओल्ड गाइस किसने बोला गॉड बोला है राइट दिस इज एक्चुअली व्हिच आई हर्ड फ्रॉम अ वेरी ओल्ड गाय गॉड ने बोला है तो लिया है करेक्ट अ वेरी ओल्ड इन्वेस्टर हुज बीन अराउंड फॉर डीकेड्स करेक्ट करेक्ट उन्होंने बोला है तो मैंने लिया दैट्स हाउ मोनीश एंड गाइस वेयर आल्सो टॉक्स अबाउट वॉरेन बफे लाइक they treat him as the driving force if exactly. he has But bought something is, it, it becomes access is not there when ah, some correct music. correct so right. so you have to have your strategy to exit if you don't have access correct so that is the way so i say you can have blind faith you can't get borrowed conviction correct so nuresh following on that story with all that in context right from your blogging days till a full time trader how does that journey look like uh, what made you a blogger and then what made you से यार अब मैं फुल टाइम ट्रेडिंग कर सकता हूँ सो टू गिव यू एन एग्जाम्पल आई बिकेम फुल टाइम इंड द मार्केट्स राइट अवे सो गॉट इन टू एन आई टी जॉब फॉर सिक्स मंथ्स आई वॉज ऑन द बेंच फॉर फाइव एंड हाफ मंथ्स दैट इज द बेस्ट पार्ट राइट सो इज एक्चुअली राइटिंग द ब्लॉग फ्रॉम द कंपनी आई वॉज वर्किंग बिकॉज आई हैड नथिंग टू डूटिंग पेड फॉर इट yeah and <laughs> the point is we had nothing to do and luckily we got an internet connection back in those days to get a internet connection It, for a new joinee for a fresher in 2006 was difficult so we used to do that and i got into the markets full time from january 2007 so people say boss kaise kiya the point was very simple plan b was kuch nahi hua ek dekh saal baad to engineer hai engineer hai mba kar lenge <laughs> right ms kar lenge so and your salary is just too low right to start and off your opportunity cost is too low so like theek hai na dekha jayega Correct. and before quitting also I'd, because i was already working with mama and we had got into a partnership by then so i had accumulated enough money for the next 6 months of expenses so that's how i got into the market so i got full time right away the trading part over the years became larger and larger because i started with zero capital the 25000 rupees which came of came as capital from my mom was the starting capital so all was you had to make it through advisory services training etc and over a period of time the composition of trading became a larger larger part and the main part today right Correct. so that is how so even today i do multiple of things but the core income comes from managing money right right but the whole story going back to your access to uh, 
very seasoned investors in 20, uh, 2009 right starting from 2007 with 25000 corpus to meeting these guys in 2009 how did that that come from like दो साल में आपने ऐसा क्या किया जो आपको एक्सेस मिल गया ऑफ दिस गाइस सो सी द फैक्ट इज 2007 वाज अ सुपर बुल मार्केट करेक्ट सो आई सी द अर्निंग्स वेंट बर्सर्क बिकॉज़ एडवाइजरी सर्विसेज वर सेलिंग सो आई सबसे पैसा बन गया जनवरी 2007 व्हाट इन द मार्केट्स 2007 वाज द क्लीनेस्ट ईयर जो हाथ लगाओ सब चलता था सो यू मेड मनी फ्रॉम मार्केट्स यू मेड मनी फ्रॉम ट्रेनिंग यू मेड मनी फ्रॉम एडवाइजरी यू मेड मनी फ्रॉम एवरीवेयर वेयर एवर यू गो करेक्ट एंड यू एक्चुअली हैड नो सेंस ऑफ व्हाट वाज हैपनिंग right so that is how you got into it then 2008 and in 2008 like i said i got into a google group then they used to have an annual meet so in one of the annual meets uh, i met uh, neeraj marathe gorav sood ayush mittal and they were also very young right right, right. they are still very young they are just super <laughs> people right and many others and the fact is because i was inquisitive on the online side of it i have also gone to blackberry messenger groups <laughs> can you imagine blackberry was for such a small <laughs> amount of time correct right we have had tweet ups so i've met a lot of investors so i've met kiran dhanwada who's a superb investor i don't still don't remember where i've met him exactly right in one of these tweet ups etc correct so over the years i've had tweet ups that just, meet ups that that just tells us uh, so much about you also nuresh that you are someone who wants to learn about the market from everyone exactly. and just wanted to have that perspective what does this person think of the markets So I know this investor who's been around for maybe 25 years, superb investor. He said, "I I like to meet people half my age, <laughs> just right. to get perspective." Right. So the fact is that's how I also used to get to meet people. Like you just send a random message, and you're like, "This fund manager is in Bombay. He's written, he's tweeted about it. Yeah, I'm in right. Bombay, etc." Let's meet. No, he's just written, "I'm in Bombay." So I just <laughs> send him a direct message. And he happens to be ten minutes away from where I stay. So oh. say, boss, okay, एक डेढ़ घंटा भी इसको पकाएंगे. And people give you time. So I realized one thing early is that people give you time. Right, right. So if you were to take any other business, right, nobody. It's like trade secrets, right? If you are running something, you don't want it to be known. Correct. Right? So you have a pani puri stall here. You don't want somebody to be putting another stall here. Correct. But in markets, what But happens is that's not the case with investors. Sharing. is where they learn so i have had sessions wherein we sat for 4 or 5 hours without taking a tea break lunch break loo break and then we realized boss office yes. band karne ka time ho gaya <laughs> right so that is how it has been correct so correct. and that is where i have learned more about fundamentals from investing from investors so i meet more investors than i meet traders so this meets do they tell you the mega trends that you talk about absolutely uh, so uh, and especially to the audience that uh, that's hearing this for the first time can you just briefly explain what are mega trends and how do we capture those so for example see the fact is uh, over the years when you meet investors they have a very different logic to the way things are happening correct right so i remember this investors buying into consumer companies in 2009 right whirlpool we are talking about whirlpool 5 years later correct right? right. and by that time it was a 15 bagger right then you see for example i remember i used talking about avanti feeds back in 2010 right mayur unicorns was being so value picker was a forum where they were discussing these companies which are unknown and then they became 10 20 30 x correct right so the trends are very visible to us also but many a times you have to be patient enough for the markets to also recognize correct. see one of the classical trends today is what we all know jio was there correct right we all start this whole whatever we are doing today correct is because of jio right in terms of the way access has been there correct right now the stock was the largest the best performing stock in 2017 the largest company of india the best performing company of india and from the day jio plans got launched right so it's not that we don't know about it jio was launched 2 years back in terms of the background correct right the prices made a new high after 8 10 years so one of the ways to look at mega trends is one look at what is happening around you and which are the stocks actually making new highs also where it has to combine see ideally what if there is a trend there is a logic to it then correct. the prices should also show the logic correct but mm-hmm. most of the times we often miss the trend just because we are looking at the lagging indicators 
सो वॉट आर द लीडिंग इंडिकेटर्स दैट यू लुक एट वॉट्स द ड्राइविंग फोर्स दैट टेल्स यू यार ये हो रहा है ये नहीं हो रहा है See the problem is in mega trends you can be late and you can still make money. Okay. Right. See in 2011 it was consumer home building companies. Correct. Right. 2014 you saw chemicals. Correct. See chemicals came into picture after 20 years. Arthi industries we are talking about. Right. The stock made a 20 year high in 2013 for. Correct. Right. It was listed for 20 years before that. Then you had Deepak Nitride. You had various companies making 10, 20 year highs. Then China Plus One story was there. You were not reading about it. Correct. Right? There was Atul, which has been there for a long time. So you see, okay, these companies are there for twenty years, established, good chemistry, etc. The prices have started knocking twenty year highs, ten year highs. Right. Same way you will see every time. See, which was the first company in two thousand? Which sector which was the first one to make a new high? IT. Correct. Right. It was pharma, then IT. Correct. Then IT started showing. a trend so digitization was a trend so the fact is what i have realized is either you look at understand trends or you keep going back saying stocks which are hitting new highs why are they hitting new highs is this right. a trend so do you also look at the past trends and get to realize yaar ye hua tha na isliye ye mega trend bana and ab ye ho raha hai isliye ye mega trend banega so does that logic work one to one or it's a false exercise so see give you an example i'll talk about companies and charts Hindustan Unilever 2002 to 2012 zero returns. Largest FMCG company of India, well known. Absolutely. Right. 2012, it makes a 20 year high, and that is the time where consumers became. This was a sector which was not really focused because what happened in 2005 to 7, you had companies which were growing really fast. People were talking ROE, not ROCE. Today we talk about return on capital invested, Correct. return on in, say incremental capital, etc. Right. So in those times, it was what. companies ROE. which are roe raising debt and growing really fast Correct. so you had infra you had real estate etc purely infra and in that period of time this consumer companies were doing really well and then the But trend no started one, no one was taking cognizance ha they were called defensives Correct. right 2011 12 you saw consumer companies whether it was say auto companies whether it was home uh, say building materials whether it was relaxo चप्पल बेच रहा है जो भी मतलब जो भी कुछ बेच रहा है कंज्यूमर को दैट बिकेम अ ट्रेंड राइट सो दैट इज द फैक्ट सो यू सो एच यूएल मेकिंग अ न्यू 52 वीक हाई न्यू 10 ईयर हाई यू सो आईटीसी मेकिंग द फर्स्ट वन टू गेट इनटू ऑल टाइम हाईस द मार्केट्स हैव नॉट मेड अ न्यू हाई बट ऑल द कंज्यूमर कंपनीज आर सो देयर इज अ सेरा सो देयर इज सेरामिक्स करेक्ट राइट देयर इज एस्ट्रल पॉली ऑल डिफरेंट रूट्स राइट एंड बाय एंड ऑफ 2013 द लार्जेस्ट वेट इन द इंडस्ट्री इज आईटीसी व्हिच इज अ मीम स्टॉक टुडे Correct. used to be 10% of nifty in 2013 right so the fact is this is how trends develop we see it in front of us but yet we ignore 2012 to 15 it was about pharma you saw sun pharma coming out of nowhere dr reddies etc etc right. so you will keep seeing this so the trends are most of the times we want to be the first one to know the trend right so i remember the statement by one very good investor I'll not name him a south indian investor is like being early Very early is a crime, right? So he had bought TTK Prestige in 2002. The stock did nothing for the next eight years, nine years, and there was a hundred banger, right? So he's like, being early is a crime because by the time it plays out, correct, correct. doesn't matter. I so, hope you are not talking about Porinju. No, not about <laughs> him. So I'm talking about the Sham Shaker actually. But the point is, so many a times you can't be so early also. Correct, correct. So correct. the trends are there. So that's why I said, no, you can marry it. Why? but it, it also grow. it also drives on uh, the conviction so uh, had we been early even then we need to be put we need to be there for another 10 20 years probably for that uh, conviction to play out yeah so that is why i said na see let it get reflected your logic get reflected into earnings and price correct see there are two things which are very clear business is earnings which is clear which is the b- company is working night and day to do that so earnings is one price is the market perception so these are the only two things which really matter correct so if earnings are happening prices are doing well there will be something which will be lagging and say sometimes ah, it is correct. price moving first then the earnings catch up correct. sometimes it is earnings moving a lot and then the prices catch up correct but this is a function which you have to always keep looking at the problem in mega trends is you find a trend it is very tough to hold on to them so i bought into chemicals in 2014 I sold off in 2016-17. They continued to be in the trend. 
They still do. Yes. So okay. Arti, I sold it at three x, five x. The stock became at thirty x. Arti is still my favorite. I agree. Right. So I remember buying Atul, selling it for three x, four x. It became thirty x. Correct. Right. So what I've learned is that. trend samajh bhi gaya na to holding is the real correct correct trend. especially so, the chemicals uh, no no one thought india could be this this big in terms of uh, chemicals just being even if you thought see what happens you buy a company at 6p right you say it is 25p or done right correct but then it keeps going 20% 20% 20% 40% and the whole thing goes correct. into a different trajectory right so that is what i learned in like say for example i bought kpr mills Into textiles, best company. So sold it at five six x in two thousand seventeen. It did really well even in the next few years. Correct. It Correct. was relatively still better than the other investments you've made. Absolutely. So that is the fact. Earnings will come, price will come. Point is, you keep learning and trying to say, "Hey, bar, so many say, does be this capture here? Next time we'll go to fifty. Correct. You can never capture the hundred percent. Correct. The Absolutely time. not. So the fact is, look at earnings, look at price. and trends we keep all we all keep seeing it right jio humne dekha it companies humne dekha we have all seen it right we saw you guys are opening accounts right everyone started using uh, correct right but no one really thought of so cdsl, CDSL did really uh, well bsc did really well bsc in 2020 i wrote an article it was available almost closer to cash correct right it was 300 bucks and 270 280 rupees was cash or something like that right That is the bottom of 2020. Absolutely. So we all see it, but the fact is that participate करना है मुश्किल है. And the biggest trend is because India is growing us. So we have a mega trend for us. <laughs> where we are in the in country, country where yeah. where we have growth. So over the last two, five, ten, twenty years, पैसा बनाया है because there is growth. So that is the mega trend. Correct. And that is where we all screw up. We want to time every cycle out. You know, you talked about India as a mega trend, but. Uh, a lot of people have been talking a lot about the tough times that we are going through not only as a nation but also as a as a world where uh, people are fighting over lands inflation is at all time high uh, people are dropping off their uh, high paying jobs and just just not there in terms of finances so how do you see india particularly and how do you see the whole stock markets driving from here See, it is just our awareness about all the negatives in the world. There have been negatives all through, right? So, two thousand eight was one of the worst periods. People don't remember it, right? I call two. It is like A D and B C, right? People, those who have seen two thousand eight and those who have not seen two thousand eight. Correct. Seventy percent fall in stocks, right? उससे बुरा क्या हो सकता है वो आज तक तो हुआ ही नहीं. Correct. You are. That was the first cycle that even I witnessed. Right. So that has been. That was like how many years away now? 14 years so, 14 15 years so we've not seen anything bad we've not seen a 40% correction apart from covid and that did not last long absolutely right so i say in the last 2 3 years the problem is not that ke things have gone bad these are all out of syllabus things right covid we are not medical people to understand it then there is a war you don't have any clue on there is long term capital gains which comes out of nowhere so a lot of things have been out of syllabus correct right? So, but the there problem, have been too many sh- shakers also. Like, but that is how it happens, right? In two thousand eight, global financial crisis screws up your job in India. Correct. Right. So people lost jobs in India because something happened somewhere in the other part of the world. Right. So this is how. So there will always be good and bad times. You just can't change it. So there is a very nice saying: markets are cyclical, valuations are cyclical, investors are cyclical, everyone is cyclical. Correct. So there will be cycles. Geopolitics is also cyclical. So there Correct. will be cycles which will keep happening. Correct. So I say no capital, no capital market. So you have to just survive. You have to take care of your capital that you don't lose hundred percent of it. Take care of your mental capital, which has to keep growing irrespective of every bad cycle. Your mental capital has to grow. You learn more in every bad cycle. Correct. Because if your mental capital is better in the next cycle, you will make much more money. So I say stick to this. Things will keep coming. See, COVID आया. No, correct. Right. That time you are like boss. Net worth साफ हो गया fifty percent. खत्म हो गया तो. And then a year later you are like boss. Everything has changed. So I'm this will keep just... happening to you. There will be out of syllabus, but you have to be around. Correct. So the learning is keep your simple thumb rules. Now talking about people uh, throwing off their jobs. So one thing which I tell to youngsters today is, you can compound your earnings faster than you can compound capital. 
So I say in your initial stages, focus on compounding your earnings. Correct. And that is by giving your time to what you want to do. So a job, a startup, a business, whatever. This can be compounded. Right? You start off with a small capital, you can't compound it. Correct. Right? So the problem today is people want to become full-time traders. They don't have capital. They don't have risk appetite. They just have whatever this so-called word called passion. Passion is not something You are just into it. Absolutely. Passion is never realized. Yeah, I'm passionate about markets. You're already there in the markets if you're passionate. Right? Correct. If you're uh, passionate about cricket, you're already playing some district level or etc. Ah. By the time you realize it's your passion, you've already gone through it. Correct. The first mm-hmm. thing is compound earnings in your first stage. Then save some capital. Keep saving capital. Then compound capital. Problem is people want to compound first when there is no capital. Right? It makes no sense. You have only time. You have your skill sets. You have your... Say, I tell very simply, you have 18 hours of work life in your 20s. And then by the time you have kids, like I have twin boys, that takes away a few hours. You have a wife, you have a family, right? So you have a lot of time which can be converted to compounding. Correct. So compound your earnings, earnings, compound your time in your early stages. Save money. Then you don't need those. to be stingy. So I say in your initial times, you don't need to be stingy. You have to be very this thing on your compounding your time and earnings. Then save capital, then compound capital. Correct. People want to start the other way around. That is where the problems start. A very nice saying, one of those investors told me, that somebody who say 40, 40, 45, over a period of time, he would have saved 20, 50 lakhs capital. Right? That is, he would have saved so much. All the kids are born, etc. 50 lakhs will be saved. 50 lakhs compounded at 10-20%, by the time you are 60, you will still have a huge corpus. You will, you will. Right? So, 10x in 10 years is possible at 25%. 5x is possible. So, you have a huge capital even if you are investing late. Correct. Problem today is people use their time badly. When you are in your 20s. (laughs) So, I tell people, compound earnings first. Compound your business first. And let compounding, you can keep learning about markets, keep trading markets. But compounding capital should come when you have capital. Correct. That's a very, very good learning for someone who is just stepping into the market. Uh, Following on to that, uh, Nuresh, what will be your piece of advice for someone who is just stepping into the market uh, of all the laundry list of mistakes that he should typically avoid? So, the first thing I tell people, don't come into the markets. Right. So, like, kya bol I have come to you, you teach me. So I said, boss, it's not worth your time. You don't have capital. You don't have any skill sets. Why do you want to come into the markets? You end up spending four hours a day with zero return. Right? So I say, boss, focus on your core. Then keep giving small time to the markets. Start with small capitals, which you can, small capital where you can, it has to be something which should hurt you, but it should not be something which should kill you. Correct. Right? So if you lose 20%, 30% of that capital, it should hurt you. So you come out with 20,000 rupees, oh, gaya chalta hai. Correct. so it should not be very small that it doesn't hurt you. It should be enough to hurt you, but not kill you. Correct. Wherein does, it should not be like you've started today and you've put 10x your salary right away. Salary to banana shuru nahi hua. You've borrowed money and done all that. So start that, conserve capital, keep learning about markets. See, the earnings from the markets will come with your age and your experience where you've seen a cycle or two. Correct. So, and no capital equal to no capital markets. So don't blow off your capital. Right. That, that's the best piece of advice. And to be then honest. you have to keep increasing capital. Correct. So you have to save. Right. Because you'll always get drawdowns. You'll learn. Right. So keep, one, do not lose capital. Keep adding capital. So invest, save, invest is is your piece of advice. Yes. Correct. You briefly talked about uh, cyclicality, Nuresh, and uh, you talked about the different cycles one should witness. Uh, But at the same time, let's say uh, I'm stepping into the market, market is going through cycles. Are you the ones, so there are typically two kinds of people, one who just stay put, they keep on compounding the money, even if the cycles are going upward or downward. They will eventually come out victorious because in the longer run, it's a steep curve. And then there is someone else uh, who typically tries to enter in the downward cycle and uh, exits in the upward cycle and each cycle they are compounding their wealth. 
So, which line of thought do you belong to and why? So, people think I'll be able to sell somewhere closer to the top, buy at the bottom, I'll be able to go to cash. Sab, sab theory hai, hota kuch nahi hai. Correct. You end up making mistakes, right? So, I'm of the view, I say this very nice thing. Teji, ma itna kamalo ke mandi se farak na pade. Right? So, in the good times, you do so well that you can digest the drawdown. So that is the first part. So that is my belief that in good times, I have to be the best performer. Correct. I have to compound capital at really fast rate so I can take the drawdowns also. So I leverage a lot in the good times. And in the bad times, I try to stay aside a lot. So over the years, I made my real estate investments because I stayed on rent initially. Made my real estate finally investment after staying on rent at the top of the bull market. So I learned from one of my mentors, market ni kamai, market ma samai. It just stays there. Correct. So every time there is a good time, Take some money out, spend it into your luxuries, into your make a business, make an investment which is not touchable. So take your upscale yourself in good correct, times. Correct. Because in good times, either you make a mistake or the market makes a mistake. Right? And the markets go down. Correct. And it can get compounded. Markets have gone down and you have also screwed up. But the problem is at the good times to remove out capital is difficult. Correct. But that is what you will learn after a few cycles. Initially, it will not happen. It will not happen. Until you don't see the cycle, you will not know what to do. But do not ex expect that, boss, yes, I have studied this chart, I will go out. I got out in 2008, did not happen in 2020, did not happen in the same way in 2013. Right? So, Correct. It, you can't be right all the time. So, Correct. understand what are your strengths. Like I said, my strength is to do really well in the bull market. So, that is what I try to play for. Correct. Correct. That's really helpful, Noresh. Lastly, uh, if if you were if you were to give an advice to your twenty-year-old self, what would that be? That can come out uh, from personal experiences or just stock markets. Anything that you would like your twenty-year-old self to know. So I say, read and meet. The only two ways of learning. One is reading. One is meeting. So luckily, I've done the second part really well. So okay. I say, read better. So I did not read a lot in terms of markets per se in the 20s. I read about everything else, but not about the markets as much. A lot of non-fiction, fiction, etc. Learning about the market is so much important even before stepping into the market. Yes. People often miss out on that fact. So as I said, there are two ways you can learn. Either you can read books. There are so many books available. Now you can just download it. Second is by meeting people. Correct. Because they have assimilated... Like, A they lot have, of knowledge over their experience. They have made the essence out of all the learnings of the books, seen it in their life. You learn actually it from implemented there. and got to learn. Yeah, uh, so there are two ways to do yeah. it. So I say, luckily, meeting part became easy. Reading is something which I have to still work on a lot more. Right, right. Even that's, in my currently, right now as well. That's that's really helpful, Nuresh. Uh, thanks for taking out time and agreeing to do this. Means a lot. Uh, I hope hope to host you more. Same thanks. here. So I Thank like you. to meet, talk. Uh, that's the way I have learned. So anytime. Thank you. Thank you.